Hey YouTube, what's going on? Me, David Esquivel with DE's Reptiles. Just wanted to say what's up and how's everybody doing today? Guess what? I'm gonna show you my uh, ball python. It's a albino ball python. Um, I got it at Reno's Rainforest. It's over here in El Paso, Texas on the west side. And uh, man, that guy has some cool stuff. And um, some cool ball pythons, some cool lizards, iguanas, bearded dragons. Um, he's amazing. That guy breeds everything, turtles, fish, everything. But uh, guess what? Um, today, anyways, today I'm going to show you guys my albino ball python. So stay tuned and check out this intro. <laughs> So what's up everybody yeah so anyways um yeah you know this cage right here there's a bunch of controversy with cages like this this is a plastic cage it's supposed to be a display cage but uh it's not permanent and um yeah it's just for the meantime until i get my collection bigger and uh yeah when i get a bigger collection i'll probably make my own uh, snake rack but in the meantime I'm gonna have these little display cases a couple of uh, you know uh, I saw some um, some bends kind of like office bends that you put on top of your uh, your desk and they're made out of plastic they hold three uh, plastic bins and right now I have a couple of my ball pythons in those and a heat pad on the back of them water substrate and uh yeah um so far they're working i'll show you guys that on on another video but um yeah so yeah this one right here got this off of amazon i forgot the price all right and uh it is flimsy but this snake you know you know it's just a baby this is not a permanent house housing for my uh albino ball python and um, this is just in the meantime, like I said. And um, yeah, I love the albino, man. They're beautiful snakes. Um, you know, uh, they're not too expensive. They're they're a good price range. And um, yeah, when you look at a ball python, you're like, wow, like that's, you know, when it comes to the albinos, I just love the colors. Most people, when they think about albinos, you know, they're like, oh, you could only do so much with the albino ball python. Me, you know, I don't know, you know, you know, on my off time, you know, sometimes I sketch, doodle, draw, you know, I, I like to uh, do a few paintings here and there. So I'm a little, I have a little uh, um, artistic uh, ability, skills and all that good stuff, you know, but when I look at a ball python, I'm not like one of those guys like oh it's just another normal ball python you know a ball python is an animal it's uh they're beautiful creatures man and they come with beautiful morphs and without all these other uh breeders out there that are putting all these morphs together um you just you know just is so much potential out there and stuff like that with these animals and um they're beautiful they have beautiful patterns colors um Damn, they're just amazing and uh yeah so let me show you this this girl so this albino is a female okay and uh let me put her over here can you guys see her yeah so she is a beautiful just a regular albino still a baby and uh yeah so she's healthy and she's eating she's amazing let me put her right here all right all right all right can you guys see her yeah all right so yeah so there she is um, yeah, so I do want to try to breed and stuff like that, you know, um, those are my plans for the future. 
uh, this girl's, you know, just a couple of months, you know, but um, I'm uh, want to see if I could put her with my male banana inchy. Um, my banana inchy is about two years old already, but like every other person, you know, they want to just me. I just wanted to have a pet snake, you know, and um, I got a banana inchy male ball python. Everybody knows, almost everybody knows, when you get a ball python that's a banana, if you get a male, that male is going to produce almost all males. There's this, you know, there's a small, small chance you might get a female, but majority of the male ball pythons that are bananas, they're going to give you a freaking uh, a male. And uh, me, I wasn't thinking like, oh, I want to breed. I was just thinking of the patterns, the colors of the banana inchy, how the inchy you know, kind of disrupts the original patterns from the normal ball pythons, you know, it just jumbles it up a little bit and uh, also uh, brings up uh, those colors too, you know. But yeah, when this female albino, you know, you know, gets up to weight about two years from now, yeah, that's a long time. And, um, you know, it's, it's not a race for me. I'm just enjoying these animals. I love the way the colors look when they're small, you know, and uh, I think everybody should uh, just appreciate when they're small little babies and if you could just enjoy them, enjoy them. But if you're like rushing, 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 I don't know, man, if you have the money to speed up this, uh, speed up your hobby, if you're breeding, you know, go for it. That's, you know, that's whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. Me, you know, I'm going to get a few ball pythons here and there. Uh, right now I'm just, uh, you know, taking it slow and just enjoying these, uh, snakes. They're awesome. So this, uh, albino, you know, it is a recessive. And if you know what a recessive is, that means to create another albino, you need two snakes, male, female, that are also albino so that you could get visual albinos. But because I only have one albino, I'm only going to be able to create heads so i'm gonna you know produce uh some bananas banana inches uh some inches just regular bananas and maybe a normal here and there but with het albino on top of that so when those babies come out you know i gotta obviously wait until i have a male uh albino het or sorry you know banana inchy banana you know, with a head of a albino, breed it back to this albino, and hopefully I could get a few visual albinos. Hopefully I could get a male because this one's a female. And that's pretty much how I understand it, you know, um, about the recessives, you know, you will always need two visuals. And uh, yeah, you could get those double or triple recesses, but I'm hearing about all those crazy doubles, triples, quadruples. I'm like, holy cow, like... You know, it's getting a little confusing, but I'm not a big breeder. I'm not even a breeder yet, but I'm interested in trying to breed. I'm probably going to do it in a few years from now. But in the meantime, I hope you guys do, you know, enjoy, you know, you know, just checking, checking out these animals, you know, check out. And um, come on, just look at this albino, you know, she has a beautiful pattern right here you know, whites, you know, yellows, you know, she's still young. I think she's a little hungry. It looks like she wants to like, I don't know. See, see, you never know with these albinos or ball pythons, you know, when they're in that S position, uh, you know, they could potentially, you know, you know, do a strike. And uh, she, I don't know, right now she looks curious, you know. But yeah, it's a beautiful albino. I'm excited that I have her. Um, n never, man. Like, uh, I've always been into reptiles, but I never thought I would get an albino uh, ball python. And uh, I, she's beautiful, you know, and uh, she's healthy. She's eating. Um, a lot of people go for, you know, you know, live feeds. Some people go frozen thawed. Right now, my the babies that I do have are going frozen thawed, but my male that I have that's a banana inchy goes for life 
you know, live feeding only. And sometimes you get one of those snakes that just doesn't want to turn and go, you know, you know, the safer route, which is, you know, throw a uh, frozen thought. Sorry. And, um, yeah, so kind of sucks when you hear, you know, a little mouse go, you know, squeak, squeak when it's about to, you know, you know, meet its end. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I just think it's amazing having a, a ball python, a couple of ball pythons in my collection right now. So right now, yeah, I'm uh, collecting them, uh, trying to figure out what, what I want to produce. And there's so many gen genes out there. And um, I just want to go after those clowns, man. I just want to go after those, uh, those, uh, everyone like pies, man. Everybody likes those, uh, those, uh, um, I'm hearing a lot of people going into the desert ghost and ghost is the future and, uh, don't orange dream or go, you know, it's, I don't know, man, there's so many amazing genetics out there with these ball pythons and it's just amazing, um, how wonderful they look. And yeah, so this is just a temporary, uh, cage. She is going to get bigger. I am going to you know, every few months or every, you know, a couple of months from now here and there, I'll probably try to do a little upgrade here and there. But like I said, I'm not a big breeder and I haven't even tried breeding it, but I'm, I'm like, I'm a, one of those guys that, uh, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to say I'm a YouTuber, but I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And the more videos I see about ball pythons, people putting jeans on top of jeans, getting hats, getting um, visuals, getting brand new, you know, morphs and stuff like that. It's just, it's even making me getting addicted by just watching YouTube, you know, it's crazy. And then it's like, oh man, I got to get that. Or, oh man, I want to get that one. But then it's like, oh man, I got to, you know, <laughs> I got to, um, you know take it easy and you know it's not a race just I keep on telling myself that because I uh, you know it's my race you know not any, anybody else you know just because this person on YouTube has a you know 40 or 50 grown grown-ups of ball pythons you know that doesn't mean you know I got to speed up and get 30 or 40 like tomorrow or a week or a, a year from now who knows who knows what's going to happen a year from now but um you know, I'm just going to take my time. You know, this is a, one of the snakes that I own. Um, today is going to be a feeding day. I'm probably not going to show too much of the feeding aspect on my channel. Just because I don't know if YouTube's okay with that. You know, some people say YouTube will, you know, you know, I guess, uh, you know, you know, tell you to like, you know, not do that. And then some people... You know, on their YouTube channels, I see them, see them doing it all the time, live feedings. You know, I it's normal. It's a normal thing for these snakes, you know. But there are those people out there that watch YouTube videos and they don't know how to change the YouTube channel to watch something else. And they just have to watch, you know, a, a little mouse or a little rat get, you know, you know, be supper time for one of these, uh, you know, pythons, you know. But yeah, I don't know. That's just going on a little rant. But uh, anyways, but yeah, like I got plans. I'll I'll talk about my plans in the future. Um, but right now I'm just gonna show you a couple of my ball, ball pythons, and this is a you know this is a albino right here. She's a female. She's very small. Well, she's you know average size, but uh, she's gonna take another two years to grow, and uh, you know. Supposedly, there's, uh, she's supposed to be about two years before I start breeding. You know, if she's thick, healthy, eating, I'll breed her. But if, you know, if she's not doing too good, you know, obviously, that's probably not what I'm going to do until, you know, whatever is causing her to be unhealthy or whatnot. But that's not happening right now. And that's, you know, hopefully won't happen. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you guys, uh... Hopefully you guys could subscribe to my channel, like the video. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm just putting down my story and uh, just showing off, you know, the, the animals that I love, that I love. And I don't know, I just, you know, 
it's just amazing how you could potentially put sp specific genes with specific genes and you could kind of figure out what you're going to get before you even open up the egg and it's amazing how you could just do that and even even there's this uh i think it's called wizard uh it's like a calculator uh not on morph market but i think there's one on morph market that you put the calculation of your genes on it and then you figure out what kind of animals you're gonna what kind of genetic uh anomalies you're gonna get out of those eggs not anomalies but like pretty much your chances and it's all chances with these eggs you know but sometimes you get the you know some good odds and bad odds i see them all the time on youtube um yeah but uh i'll give a couple of shout outs in a you know my next future videos but uh yeah so this is one of my snakes and she's a couple months old I'm not gonna sell her obviously because I'm just starting out. So hopefully you guys are, you know, just checking her out like I'm checking her out and uh, just enjoying how they look, you know? Look at her pattern, you know? Look at her eyes. Like on this albino, half her eye looks red and the other top top of her eyes look yellow. And um, it's amazing, I just like them, you know? Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Easy, easy, easy. So, there she is. But yeah, so, yeah, it's about 15 minutes on this YouTube uh, video. Hopefully you guys, you know, appreciate, you know, just the designs and the beauty of these snakes because they're just amazing and they're amazing pets. They're easy to keep. Um, I'm a truck driver, okay? Sometimes I come home a week and a half to two weeks. And I come home, then I feed my snakes, make sure they have water. My wife helps me with the water too. So I'm a truck driver. So if I could do it, yet yeah, anyone could like, you know, have a ball python and go out there on vacation and come back to your home. And most likely, almost 100%, your ball python is going to still be fine. And that's the beauty of having these ball pythons, you know, feed them once a week, feed them every two weeks. Some people feed them every three weeks. But guess what? Some of these ball pythons don't even eat until two, three, four, five, six months later. They're they're known to go on fast, doing fasting and all that good stuff. So it's kind of like stressful. Trust me, I know it's stressful, but, you know, when they look OK, they look OK. And you have to just, you know, just you know go with the flow with these guys and girls and uh yeah well uh hopefully you guys like this video you know sorry uh this is just off of a limb just things i'm just talking about out of my off my top of my head and stuff like that and uh this stuff is not going to be scripted so right now you saw me get a little scared of her i thought she was going to bite me earlier but um she looks like she's hungry so yeah like you know, tomorrow I'll feed her and um, feed my other ball pythons. And I'll uh, show you my other ball pythons in future videos. So, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, watching the video. And uh, hopefully you uh, could subscribe. And, uh, you know, you guys all take care. See you later, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> YouTube.